Mount Clitza Junior Secondary School opened in 1970. It was known to locals as the school with no windows and was a cherished home to many. It was a sad day in 2003 when the school was shut down. Recently, it has gained new life. Hey, hey, hey. The old school is now home to Alberni Literacy, the Canadian Red Cross, and Jericho Road Church. But this fall marks yet another chapter in the old Klitsa School's book as they cut the ribbon to welcome children once again into its hallways. We have two classrooms and one office. And we also have the gymnasium, and we also use, you know, the outside, uh, with the field is very big, so they have a lot of room to play and to enjoy. It's very nice because we feel like we, are, we belong in a community, and we're not alone. Alone, We have a lot of people going around us, but it's, it's, it's a good thing because the kids are exposed to many different people. This transition has been quite substantial. As Alberni's only francophone school, École de Grand Sadra, previously operated in a portable trailer on the corner of Alberni Elementary School. Wow, what a change compared to the other school. Because the other school was affordable, as some people know, and was very small. Now we've got so much room, it's wonderful. I think it just gives us a chance to grow our own personality and you know we are we develop our own autonomy and I think we will be known you know as the francophone school here in Port Alberni. New location, new classrooms, even new windows. Why not add a new teacher to the mix as well? It's going really well actually. Um, it's quite different from a very big school than a small school, but we have a lot of time to pass with each kid, and uh, it just, you know, feel good, you know, to sit together and to work all together. So that's really nice. Some might question the relevance of a francophone school trying to grow in a place like Port Alberni, but statistics show that learning a second language at a young age is very beneficial. We really focus on oral skill, you know, develop the French component of it. So it's very nice because we have a lot of time, you know, for, to pass with each of, of, the, of the kids. They are really, really emerged in this language. And I think it's the, um, it's the only way to, to learn, actually, you know. All the adults who surround the children are French only uh, speakers, you know. They, you, you can see the progression really, really fast. So. And I think, you know, for them, it's, um, it's a big opportunity, actually. The old school does seem busy again, and the teachers are loving it. But I'm left wondering how the kids are adjusting to all these new changes. It feels a little different, but not, not too different, because there's everyone that I know here and stuff. The new class is awesome, and this is... The Madame Chantal is one of the best teachers I ever had, and everybody just says hi, and I just love that. It's one of my favorite parts. The children, ah, I think maybe you could ask them. Are you guys more happy here? Yay! Yay. <laughs> the old Klitsa building is a good fit for the Francophone School, and the Francophone School fits well in the old Mount Klitsa building. Forgo on Shaw TV. I'm Jenny Fortin. <laughs>